number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Hi, and welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder, and on the easel today, we have a one-day mural for a restaurant in Shadyside, Pennsylvania. That's right, I am balancing several different murals all right now, and my goal is to get this mural done in one night. This one-day mural is for my good friends at Cafe Mulan in Shadyside. These people have the best crepes in the city of Pittsburgh, hell, maybe even the world. So if you guys haven't been there yet, definitely stop by and enjoy some crepes. Let's get to work. So if you've been to Cafe Mulan in Shadyside, you may be asking yourself, what is this place? This doesn't look like the Cafe Mulan I've been to. Well, that's right, because they are upgrading to a new location in the same building. And I get to be some of the first art on the wall. Today's painting is actually referencing a piece that I did several years ago as a commission for a friend. It's uh, the Pittsburgh skyline with rainbow drips coming right off the base of the fountain at the point. Uh, I've loved that painting. It's been very successful as a print. There's a t-shirt available of it on my website, and I'm so thankful to Captain Mulan for letting me blow it up to a full-size wall. So stay tuned. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Zach, what the hell is that projector doing on that table? Well, it's exactly what you think. You know, one very important thing when being a professional artist is to consider time management. When you're juggling a lot of different things, the universe is nice enough to give you tools that you can use to speed up your process. Today, I'm using a projector to do just that. I will be drawing my image onto a transparent sheet of paper and blowing it up to the size of the wall so that I can transfer it in a timely manner. That's right, we have a one day mural ahead of us and we need to get it done in one day. So we're gonna use all the tools at our disposal to help get this done in one night. Let's make it happen. As I mentioned, the original image was actually a commission. It was a Christmas gift for a friend of mine's girlfriend, and the video I got when they opened it on Christmas Day was absolutely wonderful. It made me so happy to see the smile on their face. That's what art's about. It's just making people happy, and that's what the love movement that I started is about, too. Let's all learn to love each other. As you can see, the projector does a great job at transferring the image to the wall beautifully. All we're gonna do now is take a pencil, outline it, and then get to the painting. I know some of you out there are judging me so hardcore right now, and I'm not talking about the striped pants, I'm talking about the tracing of projected image. It's okay guys, hate me if you will, love me if you don't, I used the projector, I survived, I don't think my career is over. Everybody needs some help every once in a while. Now I'm well aware of the ongoing debate in the art world of whether or not using a projector is true to an artist, but I'm here to tell you. If Andy Warhol can hire assistants to pull screens, if Jeff Koons can hire people to hand fabricate all of his metal sculptures, if Takashi Murakami can hire an army of people to paint his paintings for him, then by all means, I encourage you to use a projector. The tool is there for us to use. It doesn't take away your artistic ability or your creativity. I try and prove as often as I can that I am able to freehand and I do have an ability to draw and sketch. But whenever I have an opportunity to choose the easier route, sometimes I do. And that's okay. It doesn't make you any less of an artist. If anything, it makes you a better person to yourself. First of all, I really need to invest in a lav mic. The audio on my phone recordings are terrible. But hey, I pride myself in the DIY aspect of this Studio Time series. Uh, I'm doing this all on an iPhone, on iMovie Maker, with zero education in the subject. I'm figuring it out as I go. I think that that's commendable. So these are just basic outlines from for this part. Uh, I knew I was going to have to fill in over top everything, so I didn't really put too much detail in outlining. Check it out. First coat's down. Gonna let this dry. Even add some of the writing while it dries. I cannot emphasize enough how wonderful everyone at Cafe Milan has been to work with. They are so polite, so trusting. I can't believe that they let me come in overnight to work on this mural completely alone. I highly recommend you stop in, have some crepes, let them know Zach Rudder sent you, and definitely get a photo with this mural once the new store is open. We're about three and a half hours into this one day mural. Check out the brown. You may be asking, 
Why did you paint it red and then paint it brown? Well, if you remember in last week's episode of Studio Tom with Zach, uh, I talked a little bit about color theory. And while working on last week's painting, I did a base coat to provide a brighter pop of color once I applied the final coat. So on this, you see I added red underneath to allow that brown to pop even more with a warmer base. Keep it in mind when you go to do this stuff and let me know if it works for you. Alright, if you guys were upset about the projector at the beginning, and you've still made it this far, take a look. Every one of these lines from here on out have been completely freehanded. That's right, I did a white base over those original lines, and this is all freehand, baby! I love line work, I love using the brush, and I feel like a painter every single time I do. So, if this isn't validation enough that your boy can draw, I don't know what is. But I will mention, skills like these don't come overnight. I put a lot of time and energy into mastering drawing before doing any painting. I didn't start painting until I was 19 years old, but I've been drawing since I was a child. And for any starting artist, definitely take time to sketch every single day. It's very important. Would you look at this skyline? I can't believe how good it's looking. But wait a minute, I think it's missing something. That's better. What would a Zach Rudder painting be without a sun heart? We're almost done with this mural. Just a few more words that we have to add. And then we're finishing this one day mural up in one day. Loving it. Alright, if y'all like that little snap your finger magic trick, I just thought it'd be a good idea to let you know that that took about an hour and a half to do. Yes, I am begging for compliments. Please let me know how I've done so far in the comments below because I work very hard at this. And there you have it. One Day Mural by Zachary Rudder. I can't lie to you guys, I will have to come back, add some final hashtags and my official signature. But that'll come on another day. For now, we did the impossible. We finished a mural in just one day. As always, if you had fun, if you enjoyed yourself, if you learned a thing or two, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Studio Time with Zach. Thanks again, guys. Your support means the world. The moral of the story, eat crepes, spread love. I can't even believe it. We did it. Be cool up, live until my time's up. Hate me, then they love me. Tell them try to make their minds up. And there you have it. Back again to sign and finish this one day mural at Cafe Mulan. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good one. If you've been here before, then you know what time it is. It's that time again for the close-ups. It's the end of the mural. Here you have it. All the details in their glorious, detailed, detailedness. Let me know how you think it looks, and please stop into Cafe Mulan. They are wonderful. Uh, pass it to your man. Are we really still filming? This is Zachary Rudder telling you, check out ZacharyRudderArt.com. We just added a new feature called the Print of the Month Club. Have you ever gone on my website and had a hard time figuring out which print you want to buy because there's just so many great ones to choose? Worry not, I have answered your call. The Print of the Month Club subscription is a monthly subscription that offers a surprise print at the beginning of every month for 20% off the actual price. Each one comes signed and framed they're five inch by five inch and printed locally at Flower City Printmakers. Not only are you supporting the art of Zachary Rudder, but you're also supporting small businesses locally. Check it out, ZacharyRudderArt.com, and thank you all for watching Studio Time with Zach. Your support means the world.